That has a record of it. No, 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 Well, yeah, of course, talking about an SUP. Huh. Yeah, the BOA would have to approve that. What would be the fee? What would be the fee? I have no idea. For special, I mean, the, the fee schedule has what it's in there for SUP application. I don't know what that is. Um, and that's how it would be, is for the application for a special use permit and then whatever costs for them to produce the documents. It's supposed to be for the long Before bed and breakfast? <coughs> before that purpose, probably a short term run. Well, bed and breakfast, this would mean bed and breakfast is too. Yeah, well, there's bed and breakfast already. There's bed and breakfast in tourist homes. That's where somebody's occupying it. I'm concerned about the ones where nobody's occupying it. We have one in our neighborhood that the lady rents the house out and leaves. <coughs> and basically gives them the key. And now they make use of they're basically moving in next to families with kids. Who knows who's moving in there? That's not the right, not right use for that home in that neighborhood. Now there are other places where it's out, maybe it's out on its own property, where it's got 25 acres around a house, then that's fine, because they're not they're not in a neighborhood where they're affecting other people. Don't you have covenants that cover that? We do, but we were not allowed to enforce it. Because it's what? an Iowa. Well, because what? Because they, because, first of all, our neighbor can't take it to court. We have to take it to court and fight with them while they've already been saved all their benefits. We can't force them to take the people out of it. We can't physically move in. We, we aren't an enforcement body. That's what we have an enforcement for the town. So that's why I'm not allowed to enforce it. The town's not The court's not allowed enforce it. A neighborhood doesn't have the funds to go to court to sue somebody to stop something that happening. They should just say, you can't do it. It's not allowed. Yeah, the the ordinance doesn't say that right now, so then a restriction would have to come from the HOA and the CCR, and then at that point, you'll, then it's absolutely an HOA duty to enforce on that. It should be HOA duty to that point. Well, then, but you've made something more restricted than the town, so the town's not going to enforce it. It's not our policy. But if, if it was in here, and it's right. our special yeah, permit, there, yeah, then sure. it's not an issue. You're not going to allow to make a special permit in the neighborhood. So, well, okay, but think about the needs of the town also. We don't have hotels here. I'm not so sure if someone has a wedding, we got two wedding venues here. If somebody needs a place to stay for a weekend for a wedding, uh, at what point are you, what point does the town have an interest in saying, we're sorry, you got to go to a hotel in Greensboro? I mean, I'm not saying there's not the right place for this. What I'm saying is make it, make it so that there's a permit for it. To operate one of these things. Just like there's for for say alcohol at the Great Gables, the Great Gables or for any other thing that's different in our term. So, what's the, the the national organization that rents houses? There is no national. No, there, there is an order. There's a Airbnb. Airbnb. That's not national, that's a, that's a company. company. Company, right. It's a service. Web, it's a web it's a company. It's what's like advertising is what it does. So, <coughs> do we allow uh, Airbnb or Operate in this field? Airbnb I is a Airbnb is, is, is a short-term rental company. I know, but right now with no ordinance governing it, I have no. But right I, I thought we have had dealt with it for your area, uh, where we said that the town said that a, you couldn't rent a house short-term unless the, uh, the owner was there full time. Am I wrong on that? There is. That's why I said so this is above our pay grade. This is a town council. This is for town council to figure out. Yeah. Okay. What is it operation, says? Yeah, under Operation B one, it says a tourist home must be operated by an individual who resides on the property. Okay. Bed and breakfast, right? Well, it doesn't say bed and breakfast. Well, it's sixteen. It does. Right. Sixteen. It's eight. Wait, well, basically, no. it's a tourist home. Right. Yes, what that means is they can't rent a whole house out without the owner being right. And that's what we want. I don't know, do you? That's what I said. Had they been in there anyway? Is that been in there for a long while? Okay, whatever. I mean, that's how we're defining it, that's the way it is. And then that does away with the whole point of renting out your house short term. Yeah. And of course, you're going to have a problem with the, the, the high point rule. The high point rule. <clears throat> the high point rule? There's the high point. There's a high point rule. Yeah, there's, there's some the IRS code. code. It's called the high point rule. <laughs> What's Seriously. that? You can rent your house out for two weeks. And not pay taxes on it. And not pay oh. taxes on the income. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's 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 crazy. It's
because we had, because High Point had thousands and thousands of visitors that had no place to stay. Yeah. Okay. So twice I, a year. I think we spent enough time dealing with this. Second. I told you it's a big. Well, it gets even it 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 worse because very, if, you, if you skip if you skip to the, the VRBO section, there's a number. Um, there's a section for VRBO that says placeholder. 86 on page 534, that same one refers back, it says placeholder. We'll, we'll deal with it when we get there. And we call them, we, we don't make it there. We anymore. just need to get changed to SDR. Agreed. Agree with that. <coughs> That's on page 9, uh, page 5 to 8. Yes. Number 16. Well, so we're going to be five to four hundred and eighty-six, unless you. I'm not, 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 I'm not,
I think we need some kind of CCR in our town. Yeah, I think I, I'm moving my mother in law to Stokesdale, but I'd rather have her in Summerfield. Yeah, yes. exactly. I agree. I mean, that's, you know. But where we put it, what the petition we put it, is it's going to have to have higher density than our normal density. You can't do one of these. It's not going to happen. Let it go to Stokesdale. Well, they're going to have one island where it's right now. 
there shall be no more than one gasoline service island containing no more than four gasoline pumps. 27, let's see. 27. See, I interpret it differently. To me, even in multiple islands, it's just each island can only have four. Yeah, it says no more than one gasoline service island. See, that's just, that's just it's, it's not even written. It's not written. What are they intending to say? Truly, are they saying per gasoline service island, you may not have more than four pumps? Or are they saying any new gas station gets to have an island and not more than four pumps? That's what I That doesn't make sense. Though. No, it can't function. This is not. We've already read the regulating to begin with. I think the point is they don't want a truck stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's reasonable, sir. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we want to look at what we have in our existing ordinance. And well, I, 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 my suggestion would be no more than four islands, and each island can have one or two pumps. No, my point was see what we have now with the existing yeah. stations. Must be consistent. Try to be consistent. Unless it's a huge deviation departure. Either way, then we'll bring that idea. Yeah. I would look to where I think the whole point is to prevent a sheets from being paid. Yeah. I, I would write it in such a way that it, it allows everything that we have now to be legal. Yeah. Just whatever the whatever the yeah, we have now is still legal. Oh, no, I don't want to be it okay. okay. conforming. But whatever the Exxon is is what I would suggest. That make that the Exxon is the one on the solar nearby subway. Okay, yeah, that's the biggest one. That's the biggest one that we have today. I mean, the sheep typically have seven or eight islands. I think that I, I think only one pump per island. So, I mean, I, 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 I was kind of crazy because it's, it's just too much stuff going on. Okay. Really? Okay. 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 Thirteen, forty. You look, you look at the sheets in Hernandezville. It's got four island, four islands, and two pumps per island. And that's that's a funny day for me. Okay, on five fourteen. Look at 33 C and talk about Article 17. Article 17. First one. Sorry, Dave. Page 5-14. Number 33D. First line. Confirms Article 17. 33D, first line, Article 17. So that and it talks about the E about Article 12 for parking. Yep. The so date You're right. Commercially proper brothel to do it. We may as well just make it out. 
But that, the point is to take it out. So you're right. Yeah, the the key is, 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 is legally we can rule out. We're just making it so bad that they can't do it. That's what the that uh, attorney goes As good. it is now, so, it's, it's, in this ordinance, under um, retail sales and services, it's a use allowed in an industrial zone district with a special use permit. Yeah, so that, that also makes it pretty difficult. And, and it's got to go industrial zone property. There's just a couple of those in some yeah. states. So it's, it's incredibly difficult to get that done. So move on. Yeah. All right. Move on. Just make some corrections on. on. Uh, 15. 15. 16. Under 16, where we did farm uh, 1637C, where we, we lay out the different types of, under one. Farm products are fruits, vegetables, blah, 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 and fish. We didn't put and sell fish, shellfish to cover our challenge we've had with the shrimp guy. I mean, he's been bumped all over the place. And here we are. We're saying fish. So we say and shellfish. Doesn't get your failure in, like, in the discussion of commercial use. But he had, 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 had so many problems with the word. It was my ass. See, and, and then it's like, you know, this ordinance and how it's left up to, to the interpretation and discretion of the zoning administrator. And, and, and that was all some stuff, but hold on. So let me get to the page that you're, where you're back you're talking about. But what is real problem? Yeah, who came with the place? Yeah, what? We had no permit in place. It was really well, I think that's part of it. It was an accessory, and it was not really. There's no details, Jeff. There's circumstances and everything. What page was it? It's 1637 C1. Hey, Jeff. If you want to leave it late, that's fine. I'll just try and help. No, I'm just trying to read it so I can. Hey, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> Sir. 